This is a series of videos showing the creation of a strip layout for a box terminal using LogoPress 3. I'll first open up the Parasolid file. I'll run import diagnostics and we can see we have a faulty face. I'll heal it up and click OK. Save the part. So that's now it is a SolidWorks part file. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do, and you can see this is a typical box terminal with a bent leg inside and a lance form. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this part uh, so that um, I can see where all the movement's going to be as far as where these lofted forms are. First thing I'm going to do is remove the coined areas. And I'll use the SolidWorks lead face to do that. Then, lead patch all that. And then, um, I'm also going to create a split, a split the faces of the part down the center. And that geometry will be used later when I'm flattening it. So I will use the front plane and the SolidWorks split line feature. And to flatten this part, I will use the Logo Press 3 FEA portion of the software. I'll lock that vertex, and then I'll also select these lines running down the middle, or edges. But these, these edges I will unlock along the X direction and leave them locked in the Y, meaning they are allowed to move along the length of it, but not sideways to keep the spine of the part straight as we're flattening it. I'll select the material, half hard, mesh parameter, I'll leave it express, and I'll go to 2D blank and compute. It just finished meshing and it flattened the part. We can also look at the mesh and strain and stress and thickness variation uh, analysis of the part. I'll click OK. And we can see the flat blank. It did not extrude it. You can see the extrusion has an error because of the lance form. It's not an enclosed contour, so it couldn't extrude it. That's OK. I don't need that extrusion, so I will simply suppress that feature since I don't need it. And we always work with the finished part, work our way back, uh, basically unbending or flattening certain areas to create the different stages. So I'll insert a station mark feature and name it according to the station of, that, of the strip. So this will be the finished part. But also, it will be uh, the station we're closing the box, the size of the box. Then, uh, next, I would need to um, un for the station before this. I need to unbend these two side sides of the box partially. But first, I need to split this into bodies. So I'm going to use the SOLIDWORKS split feature. Split this into different bodies. So I'll cut the part. I'll save all the bodies. And uh, so now I am able to unbend these legs since it's not connected to this 3D complex lofted shape anymore. So I'll use local press unbending by steps. And I have my K factor set to a German DIN standard, which automatically calculates it. And I'm going to do a move center partial unbending of 20 degrees. And I'll 
do the same thing on this side. degrees and once I click OK you'll see two legs are unbent partially and I'll insert uh, a station mark here because this is a station of a strip and this is in this station this is where uh, this leg right here where this gets formed over but it's in the let relaxed state so because uh, we will put overbend on that leg when we do bend it. So this is, uh, let's call this leg relaxed. So it's uh, parallel to that bottom face. And next we need to put that overbend on this leg, uh, but I don't want to, uh, I'm not putting overbend on the entire bend, just on the first half of it. So I need to put in need to split this face. So I'm going to show my temporary axes and I'll use the top plane and this axis to create a reference plane of five degrees. Show the temporary axis again and so with this plane I'll use that same split line feature to split this face. I can either split the outside or inside. And then I'll use logo press three unbending my steps. I'll select this face. K factor is already set. So I will uh, check this option, swing backslash overbend. And I'll type in five degrees overbend. And you can see that the inside radius size changed from 034 to 032. When I click OK, it applies the overbend on it. And you'll see this is the relaxed state. And then overbend 5 degrees. I can now insert another station mark. And this one will be called overbend five degrees. And that's the end of uh, this video in the series.